for many young women, forced notification of a family member will result in them being abused, kicked out of the home, or forced to carry a pregnancy to term against their will. Their only alternative is to go to court and share with the judge the most intimate aspects of their lives, hoping that the judge will grant them a waiver so they can get their abortion. The ACLU's Judicial Bypass Coordination Project has worked with hundreds of young women who have to figure out how they can comply with the law without putting themselves at risk, how they can get to court, how they can pay for the abortion, how they can get to the clinic, how they can pay for transportation, and they have to figure out how to do all of these things without anyone finding out. Some of our clients are low wage, are working low wage, part-time jobs, or are desperately seeking work while also attending school. They are saving up the little money they make to try to pay for their education, to help cover family living expenses, or to support the children they already have. They struggle to come up with the money just to get to court and then to the clinic. For most of our clients, despite the tremendous work of abortion funds and subsidized, subsidized abortions at Stroger Hospital, the cost of an abortion is an enormous obstacle. As they try to save up money, they delay getting the care they need. And as they delay, the costs become greater. They're forced to compromise on their care. Women who plan on having medical abortions are forced by delay to get surgical abortions. Women who plan on having one-day procedures are forced by delay to have two-day procedures. And for some young women, the burden of lack of insurance coverage, the parental notification law, and all the other obstacles they face means they never get the care they need. Denial of abortion coverage is denial of essential health care. It is an injustice. It is discrimination and it has to end. Thank you.